Hi, I'm Phil Steele. You might think there's nothing more simple than a camera strap. You just attach it to your camera and you're done, right? Well, not exactly. There's actually a lot to know about even your most basic camera strap. There are ways you can use it right and ways you can use it wrong. There are things you can do with the strap to improve your photos and things you can do with the strap that will make your photos worse or even jeopardize your camera. So in this video, we're going to cover everything you ever wanted to know and probably more about your camera strap. All right, let's talk about your camera strap. Now, first of all, there are all kinds of specialized straps for special purposes. There are straps for people who need to carry two cameras. There are stabilizer straps, holster style straps, hand straps, fancy straps. We're not going to talk about any of that. That's a subject for another video. Today, we're going to talk about your basic camera neck strap that 95% of photographers use and the right ways and the wrong ways to use it. But I will give you a tip later on in the video for one alternative style of strap that I like to use in certain shooting situations. All right, let's start with the most basic thing, which is how to attach the strap to your camera. And believe it or not, there are better and worse ways to do it. And first of all, if your strap is already attached to your camera and you're going to take it off for any reason, before you take it off, I encourage you to take your cell phone and take a picture of the little connector part here so that once you get it all disassembled and you're trying to put it back together, you have that picture to refer to to see how it fits back together again. Oh, and by the way, if you have one of these rubber things on the strap of your camera, that is an eyepiece cover to put over the eyepiece on your camera while you're taking long exposures to prevent light leaks through the eyepiece. You can just ignore that the rest of the time. Now, one thing that annoys me as a photographer is when these floppy end pieces of the camera strap are flapping around there and sometimes even interfering with the camera controls. But there's a better way to attach your strap to the camera that doesn't leave those end pieces flopping around. It looks nice and tidy like this. So let's take a look at how you do that. First, you start out the usual way. If your strap has one of these little slidey plastic collars on it, make sure that's toward the end below the buckle. And then you start out the way you always do by feeding the strap from the outside in through the attachment point on the camera. And as usual, you uh, push it through. If you have one of these little slidey plastic collars on there, you push it through there. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Pull it through. Now, instead of doing what you would normally do, which is feed the strap through the buckle from the bottom like this, instead what we're going to do, I'm going to make some slack by pushing some of the strap through the buckle. Instead, we're going to come through from the top of the buckle, feed it into the top, pull it through, and then feed it through the bottom. So you can see it went up and down. Now I'm going to take the extra slack out. So now you can see that my little tail is sandwiched in between the two layers of the strap. Instead of flapping around, now when it's got tension on it, it's pulled tight, it's sandwiched in there, it's nice and clean. Now let's look at some ways that your strap can help you take better photos. First of all, did you know that you can use the strap as a stabilizer to help reduce camera shake? Here's what you do. Put your elbows against your body and then just pull the strap tight so you've got the camera held steady by the force against the strap and your elbows against your body. Now I like to do this when I'm shooting video and I'm looking at the screen on the back of the camera, but you can use this position for still photos too. You can also step on the strap and pull it tight like this if you're shooting from a low angle. Now here's a great trick you can use when you need to position your camera somewhere but you don't have a tripod. What you can do is just take your strap and fold it up 
and then put that under the lens of your camera to adjust the angle that your camera is sitting on. If you want it less high, you can use fewer folds or move it farther out along the lens barrel. If you want it more high, more folds or clo closer back to the camera body. And of course, if you want the camera facing down instead of up, you can put it under the body of the camera to angle it downward. Now, the great thing about this is even when you don't have a tripod with you, you always have the strap. Now, here's a lesson I learned the hard way, and it nearly cost me my camera. I have a bad habit when I'm setting my camera down on a surface, a table, a counter, a chair, of leaving the strap hanging off the edge like that. Now, the problem is, what happens when somebody walks by? They hit that and it pulls the strap and it can pull your camera off onto the ground. I had this happen in a restaurant. I set my camera down, I let the strap hang off the table. The waiter walked by and his hip hit that, pulled it off onto the floor. So now, to try to get out of that habit, what I try to remember to do when I'm setting my camera down is to kind of bunch the strap up under it and set it down on the strap, kind of like a little nest or a pad for the camera. And this also has the additional advantage if you're at a table and somebody spills a glass of water or something, now your camera won't get wet because it's a little bit elevated. Now here's one way that your strap can ruin your photos. If you're outside with your camera on a tripod, and if there's any wind blowing, and if your strap is blowing in the wind even a little bit, it is shaking your camera and introducing motion blur into your photos. So you should remove the strap when you have the camera on a tripod outside. Now, if you hate fiddling with these little connectors like I do to take the strap off, one thing you can do is just hold the strap still while you're taking the shot. Or you can get a strap like this one, which has these connector clips, and you can just unclip the strap, take it off while you're taking that shot, and then when you're done, come back and clip your strap back on. And speaking of this strap with the clips, you may have noticed this one looks different from the basic strap that comes with your camera. And that's because this part is made of soft, thick, padded, stretchy neoprene. So when you have this thing around your neck or over your shoulder, this part has some give and some stretch to it. This can make a huge difference in your comfort level, especially if you have a heavy camera rig. If I'm doing event photography with the heavy camera, the heavy lens, and the heavy flash, and I'm on my feet for hours at a time, this thing can be a lifesaver in terms of comfort. Since getting this strap, I never used the basic strap that came with my camera anymore. Now finally, I'd like to show you another strap that I also like to use for event photography. This is called a sling strap, and the one I'm wearing is made by Black Rapid. Now, it goes over one shoulder and it's shaped to be very comfortable. And the great thing about it is it takes the weight off your neck while leaving your hands totally free. And when you're ready to shoot, you just slide the camera up the strap to your eye. Now one fun thing about the sling strap is it just looks cooler. You get to walk around feeling like an old western gunslinger with your camera down by your hip, and you get to practice your fast draw when you go to take your shots. Now one caution about using the sling strap is the way it mounts to your camera. You can see it screws into the tripod mount hole on the bottom of your camera, and that is a single point of failure. If that screw comes loose, your camera could end up on the ground. So when I'm using the sling strap, there are two things that I do to guard against that. First, when I'm initially attaching it, I wet the little rubber washer that goes between the uh, mounting hardware and the bottom of your camera. And that seems to help it uh, tighten down better and stay secure. And then second, just periodically as I'm working, I'll pick it up and just sort of check the tightness. And even though I know other people who have lost a camera from a sling strap, I never have and I've done hundreds of hours of shooting with it. If you do event photography, you should do yourself a favor and give one of these a try. All right, that's it for camera straps. I hope you found this helpful. I'll put links down below the video to the products we talked about. And as always, if you like my videos, you can find many more of them, including many that are not on YouTube and all my full-length photography courses on my website at steeltraining.com.